This is a video on how to um, use keywords in project broadcast. And so what that means is if you were to set up a keyword, you could set up a keyword where they can text your number, you know, um, a word, a number, um, and it will actually send them back an automated reply message. Um, and you can even make it where the keyword goes into a campaign. So if they say, you know, booking, then you can put them into a booking campaign where it's going to send the messages, you know, each day or however you set it up. Now you can, um, in my situation, I send an e-cookbook, and if they submit, if they say book, um, then you, they're going to be able to get the e-cookbook, um, and it automatically sends back to them. So it saves me time and energy and all of the above. But to make a keyword, you're going to go to the little key on the left hand side, and you're going to click the plus sign. Now you're going to make this whatever it is, but remember you want it the easiest as you can because they're actually going to type this in. Um, the harder you make it, the less likely they are to send it to you, okay? Um, so I'm going to say new. And then I'm going to click this little uh, floppy disk. Oh, I already have one that says that. So let's do um, no, no for November. Okay, now on the right side, you can see, so you can add campaigns to join. So that means that if they type keyword no to my phone number, I can add them into a campaign or I can get them to leave a campaign. Um, if I say, okay, if you don't want to be in this, if you don't want to get messages anymore, um, you know, say from your booking blitz, then you can say, text my, text the phone no, and it will take you out of it. Um, the other thing that I like is you can come down to where it says reply message. So if you just wanted to send them something back, okay, um, what's cool is it also will tag them with that keyword, no, so that you know that everyone that has no means that they opted in. Um, so if you click on this little pencil, you can actually do a reply message. And what's cool about Project Broadcast is that you can actually import their first name so to make it you know um, more special to them. So if you say, hey, and then you can click on these little arrows and then go to dynamic field, you're gonna go first name, hit the little thing. So, hey, you know, it's gonna import Tiffany. Thank you so much for opting in. Here is your e-cookbook. And then you could just put the link. So in this, I'm just going to say e-cookbook. Just for instance. Um, and then, you know, you write whatever else. You can put emojis if you wanted to. Um, and then you're going to click on the floppy disk. And so there you go. Now, what I do do is that I am, I added myself to my contacts. And so what I do is I always, you know, reply to my project broadcast number with my keyword to make sure that I get that automated reply. Now in the um, right here where it says reply delay, that means zero minute delay means it's going to automatically send it to them as soon as they message the, no, that keyword. Um, you can change that where it doesn't send them a message back for five minutes, 10 minutes. Um, but in this situation, I want it to go complete like straight back to them. And so um, now, and it's automatically going to tag them in, with that keyword. If you don't want them to, you can just unclick the box where it says auto tag. Um, and so, and you can play around with it, but that is how you can, um, you know, set up a keyword and project broadcast. So it's super easy um, and it's fun.